Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a 1998 Toyota Tacoma. Customer's concern is that they have no clutch pedal. Uh, he said it had been getting worse and eventually left them sitting on the side of the road. So let's get into it. The video doesn't do it much justice, but you can tell that this, this pedal is not doing anything right now. So let's go check the fluid. So our clutch reservoir is uh, underneath the hood by the booster. Uh, that's a little float that's in there. You can see uh, we, we're on the good level. So let's, uh, let's crawl underneath it and see if we can see anything moving. So right now, Joe is in the car pressing the clutch pedal. Uh, we're taking a look at our slave cylinder and our uh, clutch pedal fork. And you can see it, it is moving, but just barely. So, um, it's going to be one of two things, either a clutch master or a clutch slave cylinder. Uh, the customer has opted to just go ahead and do both. So, uh, let's get to it. Now we're underneath the dash. We're going to take that spring off and we're going to take that little, uh, that little cotter pen type pin out of it. And we'll get that larger diameter pin pushed through. So our clutch master's here. Uh, what we're going to try to do is we're going to take this uh, EVAP hose off of it here at the canister to be able to get it out of the way. And hopefully we ought to be able to unbolt. I don't know how well you can see it. Uh, there are 12s that are down there. Uh, it's a terrible view. Sorry. Uh, two 12s that are down there. And uh, this brake line that is a 10 millimeter. Uh, we'll get those out uh, right after we get this. This is a 10 millimeter bolt that holds this EVAT line on. So in order to get this thing out uh, as a unit in the car, uh, basically what we had to do was kind of tag team it. Uh, I went inside and was kind of pushing on this and uh, he sort of held it in place wherever it was to get it out. Um, you could just pull that canister off under the hood, uh, but we were lazy and we don't want to. So uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get the the threads on these rods to match each other that'll help us uh, in the long run try if we get it as close as we can right now before we go back in with it so uh we didn't have very much luck with that turns out uh this part on our new one is just ever so slightly larger and it won't go through that hole so uh what we did is we kind of have our jam nut set uh, where it should be. We're going to run this thing through uh, without that little yoke part on it and we will put that on inside the car. This guy's got a three-legged dinosaur up here. Underneath the car now, we're going to go ahead and take this uh, hydraulic line off, 10 mil. We're going to let this thing gravity bleed for a little while, and then we'll do the actual bleeding of it. Fluid's just uh, standard brake fluid. 
While we're waiting for the fluid to start bleeding down, we'll go ahead and put our uh, EVAP lines back on. So our gravity bleeding seems to be paying dividends. We'll go ahead and close this off and we'll bleed this manually. Man, you whack. Granny shifting it, not double clutching like you're supposed to. Now me and the mad scientist gotta replace the piston rings that you just fried. Does that say danger to manifold? Well, just got back from our test drive. The clutch feels great, so we're gonna wrap this one up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the filming of this. While this was a very easy job to do, it was a difficult job to film to where you could see us do anything. It's kind of tight, uh, both under the dash and under the hood. Uh, the only thing we kind of had a good view of was the slave cylinder underneath the car. Uh, if you also noticed, we, uh, we didn't do this on the lift because our lift is currently occupied. So this is more of like a real world type thing. That being said, it still only took about, I don't know, 30 minutes total. So uh, this is a really easy job that you can do. Realistically, this car probably had a bad master cylinder, but they're both easy to do and they're fairly cheap. So you might as well just go ahead and knock both of them out at the same time. Anyway, uh, hopefully we earned a thumbs up from you on this one. Let us know what you think down in the comments section. We have new content for you guys every single week, so consider subscribing to the channel. And with all that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.